we had three very simple clues today. We had an outside day. And of course, an outside day being below the previous low of day means we're selling retracements with new lower lows. We also had a price wedge, which told us to buy at major support, sell at major resistance, buy the lows of the wedge, sell the highs of the wedge, right? Price wedge, which goes, of course, hand in hand with our major support below us. So we knew if price falls, we knew where we were going to be buying. On, on the flip side, if price was to rise, we knew where we'd be selling. So three clues this morning, and what actually happened? Well, as you guys know, crew kept tumbling, right? Pretty much any chart up there will show you that right now. And we broke below our major support. Now remember, I'm first looking here to buy this major support, but if we keep falling, I'm gonna try to sell a retracement. So the first thing that happened this morning was we broke below that major support, 8650. I look for the retracement, but the retracement was sloppy and choppy this morning, and price just decided to fall out of bed down to that 8520. Now I want you guys to remember this number, 8520. We saw that a mile away. So the first trade I take after 9.35, I'm a little bit ahead of the game, right? Call me itching to take that first trade this week. And of course, at above the 86 even, we get long for a plus five, minus five. Then we're gonna come down and watch what happens. We come down, we're gonna chop around, swing high, swing high, new low, swing high, swing high, and then bam, we finally break. And we talked about this with members this morning in training, remember? As the price keeps making new lower lows, I'm moving down my potential entry point. And so you can see here, we began here now, I've got an entry point right there, then of course, entry point right there. So I've got a more aggressive entry down at the lows of that 85.20, and then as we start rising back up, I'm looking to re-enter. So again, like I said, swing high, swing high, that makes the level right there. Come down, swing high, swing high. That's my first trade long here. Nice big winner there. And again, what made it easy was price wedge by major support. The 89 range chart found this 85.20. We knew that was going to be major support below a price wedge by that major support. And at 10.20, we make our 42 ticks. Now you can see at 9.35, nothing in, nothing out. Just keep following that plan. And at 10.20, you made your money. Guys, one of the one of the biggest obstacles, one of the one of the most important things for every new trader is to remember, you're not going to have a big winner in every trade. You're going to have some losses every once in a while. But as a member, I'm going to give you all the tools you need to show you, to prove to your subconscious, which is the most important, that these losses won't kill you. And once you understand how to properly manage the trade, how to avoid those big losses, cut those losses early, and let those winners run, guys, you will completely change the way you look at trading. Again, come out tomorrow as a member or as a guest, and we'll give you guys more information and all that stuff. So we have the lows now. And again, you can see there's one swing high right there. That's going to be a re-entry. There's another swing high. That's my first entry at 10, 20, 42 ticks. We're now going to break above, like I said before, we're going to break above that swing high right there once. Now, again, remember, wedge, major support. I have a lot of incentives right now to be buying this major support. I'm expecting this thing to go all the way back up right now. It didn't happen though, did it? But again, that's what should have happened under normal conditions. A little bit better price action, better personality. Would have got that thing jumping up at the highs again. So I take the two step long at first. We then see the swing high over here. We break through that swing high. That's my third trade of the day. 10.30, nothing in, nothing out. You can see chopping around. One more try again. All right. Plus, four, plus 5, minus 4, that's a plus 10, minus 8, so 42 ticks, 0 ticks, and 2 ticks. And again, great example of just keep following your plan and you'll be just fine. Now remember, this is on my 13 range chart, but do you see this, do you see the two-step long on the 21? Right, the 21 two-step will look like this. And of course, here is my 21 range chart overhead and you can easily see how that thing worked out. 